Our dean told us, no one wants you to make a big deal out of this. Settle down and stay quiet. Dear school boards all over the country, no. We will not stay quiet. We cannot keep calling on our politicians because they aren't answering, so we will do it ourselves. And I want to finish this by warning the world leaders. You better make sure you create change instead of barriers because I am leading a new generation that will tear them down. To anyone who has ever lost someone to gun violence, to those who don't have the opportunity to share their voice right now, I promise we will not stand down until something is done besides twisting a feeble lock on a door or raising an age limit and calling it a day. It sucks that we have to do this uh, and that this is where we are, but it's a great moment to see that children are changing this yeah, and that we, we're not kids anymore, really, but I'm so happy that this is where we are um, and if things need to change, it will. Yeah. That's right. When will we put the needs of our children before the ones of a weapon? The Second Amendment is one of many that make our country so great and unique. And I think I can speak for many when I speak for myself and say that we don't want to take your guns away, America. What we do want is certainty and confidence in our safety, whether it be at school or in the workplace. We want to know that whoever has a gun in their possession is stable enough and knowledgeable enough to handle said weapon. The fact that is, the fact of the matter is, is that it is more difficult and rigorous to obtain a driver's license in this country than to obtain a gun, and it's, <laughs> which is absolutely outrageous, and I think it speaks for the problem itself. What this uncertainty is called is blatant terror. A terror has been bred in our own country. Yes. But this time we will not stand for the terror. This time we will offer more than just our thoughts and prayers. Yeah. And when I look out into this crowd of passionate people full of empathy and rigor, I am proud to be an American. And I am proud and glowing with pride when I see us gathered here together today to accomplish a dream and a goal that we envision for our beautiful country. And I know without a doubt that we will make our beautiful country of the free and the brave and the safe and welcoming place I thought I knew great again. Thank you. Yeah! Yeah! You can start by banning the bump stocks. Yeah! You can start by running background checks. You can pull the gun sale at the gun shows. You can pull the Armalite military grade slaughter rifles off the yeah! shelves in the sports stores and the Walmarts. You can block the sale of those weapons. You can require mental health verifica verification. You are not 21. Don't own a gun. You are not 25. Save a life. Yeah! You can do this. Listen up, politicians. Now is the time for change. And you better believe we'll do everything we can to make change happen. I really can't look at the television and not cry and see another person dead from these horrible killing weapons. Great, not great. Fear has no place in school. Hashtag enough. Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the Valentine's Day had forever become the day of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas school shooting. And I had begun a new education in fear. We do not need our parents and adult leaders to tell us 
it's okay, or you are safe, because we are not okay, yeah. and, it, and we are not safe. Yeah. Our adults have empowered those who hate and have failed to protect all those they love. Yes. But how do we fight fear and hate? We fight them with courage and love. Yes. Love, the only protection that can possibly work against the lure of power. Professor Albus Dumbledore. <laughs> and I also know that in the Declaration of Independence, it was said that all people deserve the right to life liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Yes. Yes. Life is a basic human right.